Hey everyone, my name is Jethro and I believe that you can draw. And I'm so excited to be back again this week with another drawing video. Yeah, we're gonna create another character to explore more of this world called Ophir. We've had um, a cartographer, we've had, uh, did we have a prince? Can't remember, maybe that will be a future one. We definitely had a dragon and a magician. This week, we're gonna draw a character who spends most of her time at sea. Yes, the fearsome pirate captain, Ice also known as Queen of the Sea. Ice is bold, decisive, and visionary. She has incredible plans to go explore new lands, map the world, and discover all that it has to offer. What kind of incredible plants are there? What animals are there out there? Are there other peoples and nations? She wants to go and discover them, and to help build connections. Unfortunately, not many quite see the value in what she wants to do, and so, has to raise funds through some uh, dishonest work. But she has a crew. Sadly, not all of them share her vision either, but they're a good crew and she has a ship. Should we draw her? Let's head into Procreate. That is Eliza the Dragon. We are just gonna hide her. Bring up some spots. Add a new layer. I like drawing in red and the Doppler wing pencil. The Doppler wing uh, is super special because if you press lightly it's purple and as you press harder it turns into this lovely red colour. And I just really like that because it means I can draw something and put in some like vague lines in purple and then start to build them up in red as I become more like, yeah, that's the, that's the shape of this thing that I want and it's just really nice to use. I could change the colour manually, but why do it manually when you can build a fun brush to do it for you? Uh, like, let's actually add a new layer. Ice, Queen of the Sea. She will be drawn on this. Oh, let's do, let's do this spot here. It's right near the bottom, though, of the canvas, which means we won't have enough space to draw the rest of her, so let's select our layer of spots, grab the selection tool, draw around the spot, tapping on the little circle to close the selection. Then I'll press copy and paste, that uh, copies the layer and paste it, copies the selection and pastes it onto its own layer. Now if I hide all the other dots, um, we can see we have our one dot there. Then I can grab the move arrow, drag it over towards the middle. Lovely. Right, now let's select our new layer, for realsies this time. Zoom in, and let's start drawing. I'm gonna start Ice the Pirate Queen the same way I start every other character, and that's with the eyes and then the nose. Maybe she has a smaller nose and a big smile. Now, let's draw a body for her. She has, and probably almost never removes her favorite uh, cloak, uh, not cloak, jacket. It has lots of internal pockets. Oh, does it have a zip? It probably doesn't have a zip, <laughs> but it does have buttons. Um, let's do that. It distinguishes her from uh, everyone else, so she's identifiable as captain, and it is incredibly useful. It was given to her um, as she as a gift when she actually got her first boat when she was part of the Ophir. Um, now, did the did the Ophir? Queen have her own navy. I doubt it. So perhaps it was part of some kind of little sailing school. Uh, and it has this funny collar to keep, help keep you warm, I guess. Help wrap over the front of the neck. Anyway. Um, Then maybe another layer for warmth and stripes. P 
perfect. Might redo that. Ice has her hair pulled back. It is long and she has vowed not to cut it until she has uh, discovered a new land. So much of it is pulled back to keep it out of the way. But there are some stray hairs. Now, unfortunately, scrap that word, unfortunately. Now, Ice's legs, she, that is where they would be. Now, I say would be because I'm going to come back to her legs in just a moment. One arm will be there. The other one, perhaps, she'll be holding a map. Holding, and her thumb would be along there fingers. Yes. Scrunched up there in her hand is a little map. Ice has actually built, uh, no, or commissioned a prosthetic because she has been in many a battle and mostly it comes out unscathed. But there was this one <sighs> adventure? Trip? Epic? Hmm. Anyway, it was cut short by a battle with a sea monster who took her leg. Now she has a prosthetic, which absolutely has not stopped her from conquering the seas, for she is a fearsome pirate. It's made of uh, wood and a rare metal that gives her some mobility back. And she's not afraid of retelling the story of the time the Kraken came. Tried to break the ship apart. She was there ready, rescuing someone as they were about to fall over the edge into the mouth of the Kraken. And then a tentacle came, wrapped around her leg. She only became known as a better pirate captain for being so loyal to her crew, sacrificing herself in a time of extreme danger. I think the lines are done. I'm happy with those. Let's add a new layer, make that one transparent so that it doesn't, I, I make it transparent so it doesn't get in the way too much. I just want to double check that's actually black. Yep, Studio Pen, which I created to kind of mimic a felt pen that I used to use before I switched almost entirely to digital. Um, right, I'm working on a new layer. Right, one eye, two eyes, little nose, smiling mouth. A distinctive jacket. Oops, two finger tap to undo because sometimes I'm making a few mistakes. All right, let's add these giant gold buttons. Buttons. There's only three of them. And then I think she needs a pocket there and one up there as well. Was I going to redo that? No, let's leave that as is. Uh, let's actually make this come open at the bottom there. And then We will add a gold chain, some kind of piece of 
jewellery, but that we'll do in the crown. Hand on hip. Let's get the outline of this expertly crafted beautiful prosthetic that helped her get around. And then that leg there, like so, with a boot. Hand and the scroll, which contains an incomplete map, and then her distinctive uncut hair. some of which would be pulled back like so. Okay, let's start painting with the waxy crayon. Everyone on her crew has a, a gray kind of undershirt as part of the uniform. And then she has this distinctive red second layer, almost like a gilet. I have gone completely outside the lines. Whoops, and I'm making it much worse. Right, I love using this waxy crayon probably say it every time, but it just, if you press lightly, you're kind of, rather than putting color down, you're more pushing color around, which is just really nice. Let's see what colors we can sneak in here. A bit of purple for a shadow. Because have you ever tried to mix crayon colors? Like it doesn't really work, but I love the, I do love the effect that it has. Uh, let's lock this alpha lock so that I can go a bit crazy without having to worry too much about where all my colours are going. And maybe some kind of gold in the middle there. While she is suddenly bold, she doesn't mind, well, perhaps because of her boldness, she does not mind stepping on people's toes. And she is decisive. I mean, you have to be in the heat of some kind of intense situation out at sea. You, there might not be time to dawdle. Kind of what makes her fearsome. I mean, what makes people afraid of her and her crew. At some point in their adventures they will end up stealing something from the Royal Ophir family. Not something she ever wanted to do, but well, it wasn't actually her that did it. Uh, one of her crew steals some incredible treasure. Something very important to the Royal Family of Ophir. Um, to try and sell it to, um, or give it to a far off nation who would like to come and invade. Uh, so that particular crew member steals it from the royal family and brings it upon the ship, which I have not named. Ice is completely unaware of this and would never do such a thing. I don't know if I've just backpedaled on what I said earlier. <laughs> Um, but Ice is unaware. She would not do something so heinous. Does the crew member get caught? We'll have to wait until I draw them to find out. 
Okay, let's add these buttons. Ah, oh, I have run out of layers. How fun. Okay, in this situation, what I do is I come out of here, I duplicate it, I go back in, and now I can um, get all these other characters, select them, and uh, delete them. But I still have them in another project, so that's not a problem. Uh, what was I doing? Adding another layer. Because it's not important that these characters all live in one file. Um, what I'll probably do at some point is export all of them as PSDs, send them to my computer, and um, organize them, keep them safe on there. Okay, we have these lovely buttons. Put some little reflections in there, some highlights. And she needs some stripes. I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to use a clipping mask to make sure that these stripes do not stray outside of the um, under layer. Not that it, I don't think it particularly matters, but I've done it now. Right, let's draw purple stripes. Purple stripes are what makes her crew recognizable. Okay, uh, I have just seen I've been drawing over this bit, so let's just select that bit. Now I'm on the stripes layer, but I've selected everything that's overlapping here, which means I can take three fingers, swipe down, hit cut, and it disappears. So now I have stripes, and if I alpha lock them, now I can take a much darker colour and make them a bit darker over there, and then a much brighter colour. Maybe that's strayed too far from the original vision. Just kind of paint over them. To give them some variation. Uh, we are nearly there. On the buttons layer, I will unalpha lock that. Let's draw a little chain, I think. Something that just comes down there, like so. And we do. I was just. Clean up that, clean up that. There we go, not sure what happened there, but that's okay. Okay, finally, this leg, which, add a new layer. I don't think this needs to be in a new layer, but I have done it now. Let's make this bit wooden, perhaps, and then the foot is made of the precious metal, so it is nice and strong. It's kind of reminiscent of the armour that the guards of Ophir use. It's a very similar shape. And it is decorated with a fine engraving that most would never see. Great, and then finally the map.
nearly there. I wonder, I've been just hinting, I think I've been so far I've been building up lots of different characters from just random sections of this uh, world that I'm hoping to build. There's no real like, I'm not like, let's do all the pirates, let's do all the royal guards. I've just been experimenting with lots of different um, areas to try and build up the, the world. But maybe actually looking at a specific set of characters is a good idea. I don't know, tell me what you think. I find your comments really helpful um, for just knowing where you'd like me to see this go. For instance, I, my friend Michael, thank you so much for suggesting that I look at a character with some kind of disability. I thought it was a genius idea, um, and that's partly what has inspired Ice here. Ice is finished. The Pirate Queen. Queen of the Sea. Self-proclaimed. But that's okay. I have this um, two red lines, which I'm just going to move down there. Um, if I wanted to recreate those, um, I could just grab a pencil, make it red, draw and a straight line, but hold. Don't let go of the Apple Pencil. Hold, and then you'll see you get a straight line. And if I want it to be perfectly horizontal, put a finger on the screen and then it'll snap. Um, and we can make it snap horizontally. Then I can do another one. Hold, finger on the screen, snap. That is perfect. Let's grab the move tool, move it a bit up. Hide the inky lines, because we don't need those anymore. Make a new layer, choose black. And then let's get my paper writing pen. This is, oh, let's make it a bit chunkier though. This is Ice. The mystery of her name will not be revealed in this video. Perhaps one day. of the sea. That is Ice, the Pirate Queen of the Sea. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. I'd love to see your drawings, please do send them to me. You can reach me for either showing me a drawing or with a question or absolutely anything really um, by contacting me on Instagram at JethroAwesome or on Twitter at JethroAwesome or by email hello at JethroAwesome.co.uk. I hope you had a wonderful time. Please do um, leave a thumbs up and a comment because that really helps me to know that you like this and you want to see more of these. Do let me know what kind of parts of this world you want to explore, what do you want to see more of because um, yeah that'd be really really interesting um, and I'm excited to find out where this goes. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I can't wait to see you again. My name is Jethro and I believe that you can draw. <laughs>